Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. And today we have a different kind of video. I will share with you guys how to render your sims and make them look like this. At the end of this tutorial, you will have something similar to what you're seeing on screen right now. Um, you might use this for Tumblr screenshots, Instagram photos, or just for fun. So first things first, the things that you will need are Sim Ripper, Blender 2.7, and Sims 4 Studio. Some optional things first if you use a Mac like I do, I understand the frustration, SimRipper is not available on the Mac but you can get something like Parallels or Bootcamp to be able to run it on your Mac. Next is Blender 2.83, I know we already have Blender 2.7 but I'm just more comfortable using this version and this is totally optional of course but I will be using this to render and I'm gonna be using it for this tutorial. And the last one is Photoshop, again totally optional, you can definitely set everything up on Blender and just take a photo there but I just find Photoshop easier to be able to produce the result that I need. Feel free to also use any other editing program that you have on your computer because Photoshop is a bit expensive. I'm gonna have all of these things linked in the description below so you can download them easily. Okay so now that you have all the things that you need let's go ahead and begin. The first thing that you're gonna want to do is open the Sims 4 Ripper. If you're on a Mac like me make sure you open it through Parallels and once it's open select Select your save file so click select and your file organization might look a little bit different but it's usually in your documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then saves um, it's a little hard to figure out which save file you need since it's all like numbers but since I recently made a sim and saved it if I sort by date modified it shows me which save file I need so I'm just gonna use the latest one and just open that. So there, once you have your save file opened, you'll see the sims load up on the left side. Just pick the sim that you want to render. So you can sort them by last name, first name, or household name. I'm just gonna sort by first name because I'm gonna find my sim self. So yeah, it might take a little bit of time to load your sim. Don't worry if it feels like it's gonna freeze. It's gonna load, I promise. One thing that I want to note when rendering is you might want to minimize your CC use and if you're on a Mac and are using Parallels to rip your sim, you, you want to make sure that the game and all the packs that you used for your sim are installed in your virtual windows also because otherwise some of your sim's body parts won't show up and it's just gonna be kind of weird looking. So there, um, once the sim has loaded, you can view it, you can like rotate to see, you can zoom, whatever, you can do anything you want, even change the outfit that you want to use. So right now I'm just using Everyday 3 and that's the outfit that I want to use. So I'm just going to keep it at that, but you can use all the outfits that your sim has in game. And once that's all set and you're ready to export, you want to make sure to check clean DAE mesh and select solid and glass meshes and textures. After this, you can select save as DAE. Again, it might take a bit of time to load, but once it does, it's going to ask you to pick um, the save location. I just use my desktop just to make it easier for me, but feel free to download it anywhere you like as long as um, you can see it and access it easily. There you go, as you can see here, it has exported all the files that you need and we can now proceed to Blender. I can now close this and close my Windows 10. Now that it's all saved, we can now proceed to Blender. When you open Blender, you have a default cube. You could just right click it here and delete it. And we can now open up our sim. So to do that, just go to File, Import, and DAE. Then select the file that you exported from SimRipper earlier. So I just have mine on my desktop. So I'm just gonna select that, import. So you're gonna be greeted with this um, gray sim. Um, so to change that, to show the color, you just select viewport shading material view here at the top right to see the color of your sim. To make things easier, you can also add another window which you can do by moving your cursor to the top right of the current window until your cursor turns into a little crosshair and then drag it to the left. So now we have two windows. We're going to use that in a second. 
So right now the colors are not very like accurate. So what we're gonna want to do is go here to the editor type and select shader editor. And you want to select your rig. So just select the drop down here and then select your model. In my case, it's Chaxi Sims, it's my son self. And then you're gonna wanna go here and then this specular like dialogue box, you connect this node to this one, which says specular also. As you can see, it automatically opened the other files that you're that SimRipper has downloaded earlier. So if you check the downloaded files from SimRipper earlier, we have the DAE file and we also have Specular and Diffuse and Blender has automatically detected those. So yeah, it's just a matter of connecting that to the Specular thing. So now our Sim is looking a lot better. Like the colors are much more like realistic. But we also want to add a mix shader. PSDF should be on the last part. And then the alpha, you can connect to the fac here. So now it's looking like how it should look in game. So the colors are all set, but as you can see for now, our sim is looking very stiff and just weird. So let's move on to poses. You can find a bunch of poses online. I'm just gonna use this one from Cat first. Make sure you download non-trait poses, meaning poses that are actually functional in game and not just in cast. So go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, open up Sims 4 Studio, click on my projects and load up the package file and then open. And now here you can go to clips and you can choose the pose that you want to use. In my case, I want to use this one. So after you've chosen that pose, you can export it as a blend file. Make sure the dot blend um, option is selected and then you can just export it. Again, you can save it wherever you want. I'm just going to use the desktop and save. So now it's saved and we can now go back to Blender. Okay, so to make our sim pose, we go to the second window again, to the left window, and we can go to editor type and non-linear animation. And then coming back to the right window, click on pose. And as you can see, the sim has all these like little black dots. Don't panic. Just left click on any of them. And once, once one of them turns blue, just right click it, choose insert keyframe, and choose lock rot scale. So we now have a little timeline on the left side. We don't really need a timeline because we're not animating today. So click this gray drop down button, right click on the track, and select delete strips. Now we're gonna import the pose that we exported from Sims 4 Studio earlier. So to do that, go to File, Append, and of course, click the file that you save, select Append, double click on Action, and select the pose and Append. Then go to Add, Add Action Strip, and as you can see, the pose is now here, and just click that. Now our sim is posing. So there you go. This pose might seem a little weird to you guys, but um, I chose the lantern pose by Cat first, but I don't have a lantern obviously, but I'm just gonna add it in Photoshop. But next, what you want to do is to set up your shot. And you have two options here. You can either set up a green screen for editing later, or you can set up the background on Blender itself. But since I'm more comfortable using Photoshop and it's the simpler option for like Blender beginners, which is what I am, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first one. So to do that, I'm gonna add a plane for the background. So let's go to add, mesh, and then plane. So as you can see, it added like a little um, plane here. And what I'm gonna do is click that, no, click that um select this tool this transform tool and now we have all these controls this is pretty intuitive so what you're going to want to do to rotate this is select that you can also just type it here like for example we want to rotate that 90 degrees there you go and then you can scale it up like that um you can also like just move it up like that and of course you want to move it behind our character 
and kind of make it bigger. So now our sim has a background. Now this plane is white and I don't want that because I want a, a green background to edit later. So I'm gonna choose this icon which is material properties and I'm gonna add a new property. So here you can change the color of the background. So as mentioned you don't really have to do a green screen if you want to like take a photo of this sim with this background and just end it there that's perfectly fine but since i want to edit it i'm gonna give it a very like bright green you can also feel free to play with the other settings here so i just put specular at zero but if you're using it as a background background then you can like play with it and stuff so there you go now we have a green background but regardless of whether you choose to set up a green screen for editing or set up the background on blender you have to consider the lighting and camera angle so this is where you get to be creative and really think about the output that you want so in my case i have a lantern and i think i want the lantern to be blue so i'm gonna add a blue light around here where the lantern is gonna be so to do that we already have a light here so you can just find that by clicking here and just moving the light around to actually see the effects of your light you have to go here and viewport shading rendered so that you see the light let's move it around and here so as you guys can see that is too bright but you can of course change the power I'm gonna put it at like 300, maybe even lower than that. There you go. Um, 10 kind of works for what I need and I want it to be blue. So as you can see, it kind of casts a blue light around the sim. So it's going to look a little more realistic once we get to the final result. And we don't have to do so much editing on Photoshop anymore since the highlights and shadows will be taken care of by this light over here. So if you want to add another light, just go here, add, and then click light. You can add a sun if you want and just move it around. Like put it on top if you want to. Then you can of course change the color and stuff and the strength so there's really like all sorts of possibilities you just have to like explore and stuff but yeah depending on what you want it's pretty intuitive just go ahead and just add light and if you want to remove a light um just delete it from here or if you want to see how it's gonna look without it just select this one so that it hides it temporarily so there now that i'm set for the lights um let's move on to the camera and similar to the light and like any other element honestly you can just move it around and rotate it however you like so we can use our two windows to our advantage again here we can just um select 3d viewport so it's kind of the same for both and this time here we are gonna choose the camera view and as you can see, it's not really what we want. We kind of want it to be this way. In this window, you can select your camera, find it, and then just move it to get the angle that you want. If you want a portrait photo, which if you want a portrait photo, you can just rotate your camera as well. But of course, it's going to look like this. But that's fine because you could just flip it once you render it. Okay, so once you've done everything that you want to do and the shot is all set, you can now render and it's super easy. Just go to render and render image. So from here, you're just going to want to click image and then save as. And then I'm just going to save it as Chaxi render and then choose 16 color depth and um, 100% compression and save as image. So uh, now that we have this image, I'm going to go ahead and edit it on Photoshop and speed this up since this is not a Photoshop tutorial. Um, if you opted to create everything in Blender, then you should be done by now. If not, then it's fine. It should be pretty easy to edit out the green screen. I'm just making this all fancy and kind of fantasy-ish with the lantern and the background. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Feel free to comment if you have any 
any questions or suggestions but yeah that's it for this video please give this a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to help the channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye